Here you go. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Exactly what breakfast should be. Fuel for the day, huh? <laughs> Enjoy. Mmm. Uh -huh. What's this? Sir. It's a diet. Sweetheart, I thought it was time we started eating a little healthier around here. And the sausages are special, too. They're turkey. You trying to take the fun out of breakfast with... Oh, come on now. Don't turn up your nose until you try it. it. Tastes pretty good. Baby, I'm a cop. You know, I like to eat the real thing. This healthy crap will kill you. Mm. <laughs> Morning. Cass. Morning. What's wrong? Um, I just got off the phone with my dad. He, he has to have emergency surgery. I have to go back to Paris. And I have um, half a dozen muffins, two of each kind, a uh, dozen bagels, and a pint of cream cheese. Okay? Be just a second. Good morning. Look at that. What a wonderful surprise. I was coming in for a simple cup of coffee and a donut, and mm, this beautiful woman is waiting for me at the counter. How about you join me for breakfast? I can't. I've got to get back to the office. I'm picking breakfast up. Mm. Uh, how about lunch later on, then? Nope. It's going to be one of those crazy busy days. Dinner? Look, Frankie... I appreciate everything that you've done for me. I do. But I've got this real job now. I need to concentrate on making this work. And I just don't think we should see each other anymore. Wait, whoa, whoa. Just just hold up. Where's this coming from? What the hell happened? Brandy? You're supposed to be the first one in here, girl. Picking up morning snacks for the office. Be right back, Randy. Okay, I forgive you. Morning. Well, hi there. Hey. It's been a long time since I've been in this place. And look at all you've missed. Yeah. Oof. Want me to help you then? No, I got it. Thanks. Is that from an admirer? <laughs> I wish. No, uh, these are for Kendall. I'm presently unadmired. A, a client sent them to her. Oh, oh. What happened? Oh, damn it, that hurt. I, one of the stems poked me in the eye. You want to help you? Go ahead, you want to take a look? Oh, yeah, sit down. <sighs> sit down. Oh, my God, it really hurts to blink. Well, then you shouldn't blink. <laughs> I hope you didn't scratch your cornea. Oh, great. It's not even breakfast, and already my day sucks. Oh. At least there's a doctor in the house. Um, right. Do you have a first aid kit someplace? Uh, yeah, over in the supply closet. In the supply closet, yeah. okay. And I'm also going to need a, a magnifying glass if you have one. Yeah, there, there should be one over in the light box somewhere. Oh, okay, oh, good. God, I hope I didn't do anything serious. Well, don't, don't worry, I'll take a look at it. It's a shame because you have, you have, you have a nice set of eyes, and I have one eye. Well, you still have the other eye, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure, I'm sure you'll be fine. Well, I really like your bedside manner, doctor. Yeah. Would you like some breakfast? I, I only have time for coffee. What? You continue to surprise me. I think I'll take that as a good thing, right? Thank you for helping Kathy get through a really tough time with Mommy yesterday. Ah, the sun is barely up and you two are at it already. You know, Adam, you should have seen your son yesterday. 
Kathy's been having a really tough time adjusting, and he was really wonderful with her. He said all the right things, and it was just really amazing. You know, I thought a person had to be dead before they could be nominated for sainthood. You know, Adam, I spoke to Mama, and she's done with you for good, finally. Huh? So, scoring points with the Martins? Hmm? You are really working at it this time, aren't you? Well, I know it might come to you as a shock, Dad, but once in a while, I'll actually do something out of love with no ulterior motives. Kathy is my sister, remember? You know, that little girl you hid from all of us for so long? I came down here to get some breakfast, not to get into an argument. And I actually have to get to work. Have some prunes, Adam. <laughs> so she still has no idea, does she? What are you talking about? The little prune pusher that you used to be married to. She has no idea that she's about to be working for me.